Hi, welcome on how to write an office in Java in 30 days. My name is Anthony Gua, and today we're going to talk about uh, licenses. And this is the 13. So, the office will be released under the Apache 2 license. So, as license, you need to have a text on top of all the files. So, as I didn't start it this way, what I did is uh, using a JEdit. Uh, you can, it has a very nice uh, search replace functionality. So all I need to do is uh, search for the package and replace with the uh, license test, license text, and the package, and then it will replace all the all the Java files with a license on top of it. You can do the search with subdirectories. You can do the search with all the Java files and so on. So it was very easy. Search, replace, and then you have all your files with the Apache license. So here we have the Apache license on top of it. Then you, all you need to do is save all the files. So here I think there was more than, than 30 files already. So in one go, all the files as the license header. Then on uh, NetBeans, now all the new files that will be created, I'd like also them to have a license file. So you just need to go to uh, your project settings, so the main project in this case. Then you need to enter project.license Apache 2.0. It's important for that you don't forget the 2.0. And you can also add project.organization too. And now every time that I create a, a new class or a, a new action and so on, it will gonna add the license on top of it. You can also, if you go in the template manager, it's a tool template manager, you can also edit the license. So if you want to specify like the year or you want to specify the name of your company in the license, it's also possible. What you had before is when you were creating a, a new class or a new action, you had always the text in the NetBeans that says, to change this template, choose tools template and open the template in the editor. So you'd like to remove all this text from your file. It doesn't add anything. So once again, just use JEdit, do a search with replace with nothing. And then you go search in all the Java files with subdirectories and save all. Also today, I've also tested the CSV from the spreadsheet. So I've uh, uh, Google used a lot of the CSV as export for the analytic tools. So for example, I've used, uh, I've written for Android uh, freeware that's called Euro Dictionary. That's been uh, already downloaded, I think more than 100,000 times. So it's uh, quite nice. So I can use the statistic, I'm gonna use the statistics of this application to test my uh, open uh, CSV uh, feature in Joffice. So just download it from your own dictionary. I choose everything. Uh, let's test everything. So from the real test, I've uh, noticed different things that I didn't know about CSV. So it's first, it, you can have uh, comments in there. Then I've noticed that the um, shard set detection was not correct in my case. So I've uh, we arranged it. And also there was some difference between a delimiter and a separator. So I've also fixed this problem. And now here we have one of the CSV files that have opened in Joffice. So you notice that the, the delimiter is automatically detected, that the uh, colon width is automatically set according to the longest text and so on. And it's that it detects now the correct char set also. Uh, also something else is I've uh, had it so one pixel on the right and on the left or every cell. So it uh, doesn't, so that the text doesn't touch uh, the line uh, between the cells. And one more thing is a give, give me more menu. So what is a give me more menu is that you have, for example, uh, a lot, you can do a lot of things within an office, but most of the, there's a lot of things also that you won't you be using. Having a given more, more, give me more menu 
will be able to add a lot of different actions, even the ones that only a few percentage of the population really need to use. So it's this way it's not visible. So I just create a give me more that I put at the end of the edit menu. And you see it's a really just one menu where you can have a lot of different actions. So why is that? Is that because if you look at the LibreOffice that has sometimes action within the menu that you're quite sure that almost nobody never ever use, or you have Microsoft with its uh, ribbon, also with a lot of options that quite sure nobody hardly ever use. Here, all the actions that people will be hardly ever use will go also there. And it will be very easy to find because in the menu, you also have the search action uh, text field, if you remember, that I've created, I think, the, th the second day. So you can really see by typing what you're searching for, find all the actions that are in this menu. Well, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. Don't forget also to watch your other videos. Bye.